Hi, right, welcome. This is created on an Arclinx B XFC minimal ISO. So that was the basis of our system here. And I'm going to explain you a special, special kind of alias. I think people will appreciate this one. If you want to know what's going on, then it's interesting to know the backup scale. You know that in Arch Linux, we have this scale folder, right? So etc scale, everything that we put in here <coughs> is going to be put on your ISO. Now, we are going to change more, uh, give you more aliases and they go in the Bash RC. So we have the latest, which is the newest inventions, the newest ideas. And we have the Bash RC that comes with the ISO. And then we have binaries, all these nice, amazing little scripts, but also interesting scripts to get the latest kernel, to get the LTS, eh? so the long-term support kernel, and fun applications and use all the cores. So lots of things are in here that are quite interesting. And it's always, always an improvement, right? It's scale. Now this backup scale thing is going to make sure that what is here gets a backup in your home directory. So in here, in Eric, Control H, use it. And you'll see here that we have uh, no special kind of backup, but it's going to create a dot, so a hidden scale backup. So if we do backup scale, you do it always before you update, backup scale. So this is what is today contents of my scale, etc scale, right? Now you can update and later we can compare. So the idea is that we update our systems with this update thing and then PKSYUA update was, is, will ever be Arch Linux and Arco Linux and PKSYUA, if we run it later, second, uh, in, in the second order, it will only give you the AUR. If you just install PKSYUA and don't use update, it will just install everything, update everything. So it's a faster way. I tend to do it like this, so you know that difference between an update and the PKSYUA since that's AUR, basically now. So if I press this button, then you'll see it's just four things and it's all coming from AUR now because we ran already our update. Now, so we have to go up. So the idea is hey, here to check out, oh yeah, there is something in scale. There's another thing in scale. There are four things in scale. So I need to run scale, basically. So what is scale doing? This alias is copy pasting everything from the ET from, from um, here to here. It's overwriting everything. So if there is a file that exists with the name face, it will be overwritten here, face, right? So scale is an easy way to just get everything up to date. Everything is now in here. The only thing you need to check out is, are these two guys the same? So this is what we uh, sent you as latest version and this is what you got on the ISO. So compare between these two. And if everything is okay, files are identical, then we did not change anything, right? Good. But, now, the reason why we make this video, we have here now a folder in here and we have a folder in there. Contents, well, the same, but another date. This is just a new version and this was the older version, the backup. So if we can compare these two, that would be great. So we, need, we know quite easily what's changed. So if we go to the scale in here, and here, for instance, we go to the look at the backup, which is in home, control H, backup, open, compare. And now we have let's have a look at melt. So this is melt, comparing stuff. Interesting to know, you can always open recent stuff. So it, it remembers, but we don't want to see the same. We just want to analyze what did these guys send me now? What's new? You can see it easily. We've changed here, we've added here a binary. So we can move that one aside and you just take your time to analyze everything. So in the binary, in the main, they have changed here to, of added, not changed, added, eh? this new one, um, this fix. 
And if you're an AMD, you do that one. And if you're an Intel, you do that one. And that's it. Okay, so I have an Intel and that's done. This is it out. And there's an auto start, but that's normal. Calamaris is what we use to launch our system. And we don't want to copy paste that over. That's because, yay, we need, um, we're using the same package to run Calamaris. But let's just leave it there. It will not do anything. It will not be launched at all. And then we have the Tuner XML, which has a few lines. As you see, there are some new lines we have added here. Boolean, value is true. It's about the tutorial that uh, Tunar has changed. There's a new functionality. And the Compton Conf has changed as well. And all what we did was add some more lines because it was hard, difficult to read. And there is something about the virtual box as well in here. And that's it basically, all lines and virtual box. So that's the thing. You can analyze with this backup scale very quickly what's now in the new scale and what was in the old scale and then go over everything. All right, enjoy your new alias guys. Cheers.